She-Ra, Princess of Power, The Folly of Catra. It was a beautiful summer day on Etheria. Queen Agila of Bright Moon and her daughter Glimmer had invited their friends Madame Raz and Princess Adora to share a picnic in the Whispering Woods. Adora's horse Spirit grazed nearby. Princess Adora smiled. It's a perfect day, she said. I wish my friend Frostia could share this, pic this picnic too. But with this warm weather, she's probably happier at home in the Kingdom of Snows. I think that's Newfoundland. I've made this silver crown for Frostia, said Adora. The next time I visit her, I'm going to surprise her with it. Madame Raz says, let me see it, dear. She held up the crown and read the note aloud to the others. She who wears this crown rules the kingdom of snows. The crown will be a nice surprise, said Madame Raz. Now I'd like to surprise you all with a wonderful dessert for our picnic. Madame Raz waved her arms and cast a spell. But instead of saying ice cream, she said rice scream. And everyone was showered with rice. How do you mix up ice cream? I don't get it. All the women laughed and shook rice out of their hair. Madame Raz jumped up and down so hard that she dropped the silver crown into Spring River. Only one person noticed the crown falling, the evil scheming Katra, hiding in a tree. Now's my chance. Katra grabbed Dora's note and ran off. She said, gloating, I can perform some wicked mischief with this. Perched on a nearby tree, Cowl saw Katra stealing Frostia's crown. He decided he'd better follow her to find out what she was plotting. Katra sped to Frostia's palace in the Kingdom of Snows. See this crown? She said to Frostia, staring. Princess Adora made it for herself. She even wrote this note to go with it. The woman is scheming to take over your kingdom. I just can't believe it, sighed Frostia, reading the note again. Princess Adora has always been my friend. She'd never dream of capturing my kingdom. Katra grinned. But the note is in her handwriting. You must believe what your eyes tell you. Come, we'll stop her together, she hissed, as she led Frostia out of her own kingdom and towards the Whispering Woods. When they reached the Whispering Woods, Catra left Frostia alone for just a moment. Cow, seizing his chance, flew down to Frostia and warned her of Catra's treachery. He said to Frostia, on one thing you can depend, Princess Adora is your friend. But Frostia would not believe him, and with one wave of her crystalline arm, she froze Cowl to the branch of the tree. That's not very nice. Nearby, Princess Adora and her friends were pic picnicking again. They had asked Caspiella to join them. I feel so sorry that I lost the crown I made for Frostia. And the note I wrote, said Adora, I guess I'll have to make a new one. Suddenly, Spirit whined in panic and galloped off into the thick woods. Adora raced away after her. Spirit! I feel something dangerous near us, says Adora. I must do something about it. Drawing her hidden sword of protection, she raised it above her head and say, for the honor of Grayskull. Instantly, she became She-Ra, princess of power. Spirit was transformed into the magical unicorn Swiftwind. She-Ra and Swiftwind joined the others at the picnic. She-Ra were surprised to see Frostia, who looked furious. Don't move, Frostia ordered. She-Ra, I know you're on the side of Princess Adora, but you two, but the two of you will never take over my kingdom. And with that, Frostia turned She-Ra and Swiftwind into ice statues. She also froze the river and nearby trees. Good work, purred Catra. You, you were perfect. Now you and I can capture the kingdom of Brightmoon together. What? said Frostia. You never said anything about that. 
before Catra could answer, Glimmer spoke up. You will never catch, capture our kingdom, she said, arming her powerful blast of light. She melted the ice, freezing She-Ra and Swiftwind. Feeling overpowered, Catra fled, snarling and hissing, into the woods where Swiftwind couldn't follow. I'll hide in the woods for a better time to strike. She-Ra turned to Frostia. Frostia, she said, she pleaded, please tell us what has made you so angry. We're your friends, and we promise to help. Angry, Frostia told She-Ra about the crown and the note. She-Ra sensed Frostia's hurt. Adora is your true friend, she said. There must be another explanation. I feel so ashamed, confessed Frostia. I almost helped Katra capture the kingdom of Bright Moon. Instead, let's all work together to defeat Katra. We can use the same kind of trickery against her. Caspiella smiled at Frostia. I have a wonderful idea, she said, and you'll be the one to make it happen. Everyone gathered around while Caspia whispered her plan. Frostia found Catra later, alone, lurking in the woods. Oh, Catra, said Frostia warmly, come see what I've done. I've frozen the entire kingdom of Bright Moon. Now it all belongs to us. Catra purred with pleasure, seeing all her enemies frozen into ice statues. You're learning how to be as tricky as I am, Catra hissed, showing her claws gleefully. But Frostia had tricked Catra. Nobody had been turned into ice at all. Caspiella was, had merely cast a spell, making them look frozen. She and Swiftwind raced after Catra, who fled from the kingdom in terror. I'll be back someday, she says. After she left, the others went to the Crystal Castle. They had been worried about Adora and hoped she would return home. Adora came riding up on spirit with Cowl on her shoulder. Queen Angela said, Adora, you're safe. Where have you been? Wait till we tell you what you missed. I went to find the silver crown, said Adora. Here, Frosta, I made this for you. For me, said Frostia. I should have known I could trust you. After all, you're my friend. Friend must always trust each other and help each other. Frostia continued, I'm sorry I turned Cowl to ice, and I'm glad you found him, but I wonder how he got defrosted. Indeed, by she I was freed, said Cowl, winking at Adora. I think we should have a celebration, said Madame Raz. Why don't we cast a spell to make ice cream again? No, no, everyone protested. I'll do it, said Frostia, and with her magical powers, she created delicious ice cream for her and all her friends. The end.